you got all these microphones and cameras in your face because you had a nice game. How does that feel? Uh, it feels good. Um, you know, I'm just trying to remain humble, you know, stand in the gym um, and, you know, just um, continue to listen to what Coach is saying because it's working and um, just, just keep getting better. Did you feel like this was to get to come after your after all those games you missed? Was this something you had to work into? Yeah, you know, um, I, I knew that it wasn't going to be, you know, right away. You know, I knew I had to, you know, um, kind of work my way back in. Um, and so, you know, I, I was standing in the gym a lot and um, making sure that, you know, I was I was still, you know, in the flow and things like that. Um, making sure I never I never um, got out of it and things like that. And you know, always um, on the sideline watching and things. So, you know, I was never out of it. And um, once I was back on the court, it was it uh, it, it made it more easier. Um, to uh, play, things like that. What kind of response did your teammates have for you? Oh no, they were happy for me. You know, they, um, you know, they've been watching me work and things like that, so they know that um, that it was coming. So you know, they were happy for me. While you were out, just what was your mentality like during that entire stretch for you? Um, you know, I, I was just trying to stay positive. Um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't getting uh, too down on myself. You know, um, just making sure that I was making uh, better decisions, things like that. Even more exciting to do that at Madison Square Garden, such a such a famous venue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, I knew that was going to be a big game for us, and so you know, I tried to bring my my A game. Did you have a sense that a breakout game like that was coming soon, or what was kind of the mindset of that? I did, I did. You know, because you know, I know, like like I said before, you know, I was, I was in the gym, and so I knew the hard work was going to pay off. Was there a point in the game that you felt like you really had it going, and you really had that confidence? What point was that? Uh, probably after I made my first three, after after I hit that one. For you, how much does that help hitting the first or a couple shots early? Um, it, I mean, it helps a lot, you know, being able to get in that flow early and um, uh, being able to stay in that flow throughout the game, so it helps a lot. What was it like to be able to throw that dunk down, especially in the rest of the split? Oh, no, that was, um, that was great for me. Um, that was actually my first dunk for the season, so uh, having, having my first dunk at the match in Square Garden, that was great. Everyone had <laughs> seen the flashes uh, hitting the early three against Minnesota, but then the foul trouble came, so what was different for you to allow you to play a full game? Um, you know, being being disciplined on defense, um, you know, staying out of foul trouble. Um, and then, you know, once we got the rebound on defense, you know, running the floor, things like that in transition, so that, so that was easy. Uh, tomorrow night begins the first time that you guys have seen the team for the second time this year. Mm -hmm. What approach do you guys take against Minnesota the second time after having seen them so uh, recently? Um, I don't think we're going to be taking a different approach. Uh, I think we're going to uh, st stick to the game plan, make sure that we um, – that we um, guard guard Murphy right, you know things like that, making sure that we're on the scouting report. Um, so I don't think the game plan is going to change uh, too much at all. How did you personally build on that last game and kind of with your mindset and just staying on the floor? Oh yeah, no, I'm definitely I'm definitely trying to you know build off that game. You know, um, you know I'm not trying to you know force anything. I'm I'm just trying to let the game come to me, things like that, um, and the offense and stuff. And you know the game will come to me, so I'm not trying to force anything, but. The game slowed down for you going into that game a little bit. Yeah, it did. You know, uh, when I when I first came here, you know, I was playing uh, a little too fast, things like that, and so, you know, being able to get um, some more games under my belt, you know, uh, the game has slowed down for me and things like that. So it's been a lot more easier. And seeing the success of Io and Georgie, mm -hmm. fellow freshmen, did that kind of encourage you? Like, hey, I can get my game off as well. Yeah, it did. You know, um, seeing them, you know, uh, putting in their work, things like that, and, and then it's shown on the court. You know, that just yeah, like you said, um, more encouragement for me, things like that. Freshmen played such a huge role in that win. Do you, do you guys still feel like freshmen at this point? Um, no, nah, not not really. I mean, the I, I feel like the first week of the summer is when we were really freshmen. But after that, uh, it's, it's time to step up. Well, that's yeah, a whole. Was, there, was there ever a, a point during that stretch when you were suspended or you know, when you struggled a little bit with foul trouble that you doubted that you would be able to to have the moment like you had when you threw down that dunk? No, I mean, I never doubted. Um, you know, I always believed. You know, I, I believed in myself. I, I believed in what the coach was saying. And um, I believed in my teammates, you know, because they were all uh, picking me up and things like that. So I never I never had any doubt that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to, um, you know, help the team or things like that. You know, I always stay positive and things. What was the whole process like for you trying to work your way back into the rotation and just the good graces of your teammates and coaches? Um, I mean, the process was, you know, going hard in practice. Make sure that I'm, that I'm upstairs in film, you know, watching, watching with coaches, things like that. Um, and, you know, just, just in uh, determined, persistent, things like that. So, did you feel like you had to do a, a little bit more extra, like a little extra, maybe that work, just trying, just because you were suspended? Yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, from, from the suspension, you know, I felt that, you know, I miss, I miss all these games and things like that. So, you know, I gotta like 
bring it, you know, some more. And so with that, with that fire kind of up, uh, up under me, you know, that, that uh, really helped. What was that like extra? I mean, just like watching more film than maybe the average person, getting more shots in than the average person? Yeah, you know, I was always in the gym uh, working out with uh, Coach Chen and um, uh, putting up extra shots and things. So, you know, that really helped. How do you look back on this whole process that you've been through? Oh, um, you know, I'm trying to uh, take it as a, as a learning experience. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to um, make any more bad decisions, uh, things like that. And so I'm just trying to move on from it. Walk me through what it was like on that. It was kind of a long plane ride home. What was going through your mind? You had a lot of time to reflect on on the day, and what was that like? Um, you know, it was good. You know, I got a lot of um, phone calls and you know, and uh, messages. You know, um, congratulating me and um, uh, things like that. And so, you know, it was a, it was a good plane ride home. You know, you know, the coach we had before me, players and things we had before me. So. You know, it was um, it was pretty good for me. What was that locker room like? The guys were waiting for you, the yeah, bottles yeah, of no, water no. and everything. How'd that feel for you? you no, know, that felt great. You know, because because that's never happened to me before. And um, you know, ju just knowing that you know, um, everybody in the locker room, you know, that they're gonna be happy for you and things like that. You know, every single one of them in there, you know, they're my brothers. And you know, just just the fact that um, that I know that, you know, it's it's uh, good for me. You know, like a Saturday. You know, have you had talks with guys who are just getting a lot of media attention, like Ohio or Trent? Have they coached you up a little bit on, you know, how to handle just kind of the hype that goes along with the performance like you had? Um, yeah, no, um, they talked to me, you know, it, it wasn't too much about how to, like, handle the media and things. It was it was more, you know, encouraging me, you know, telling me, you know, that, that they need me and things like that and just um, keep up the good work. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Tessa. Thanks, Tessa. Congrats.